All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I got something neat I wanted to share with you guys. I've had some busy weeks in the past, so I haven't had a lot of time to put out some videos, but I have been driving my personal vehicle around in the pouring rain, and man, it is dirty. All kinds of road grime kicking up on it. I mean, about as dirty as it gets for my vehicle anyway. <laughs> but I wanted to share this with you guys. People always ask, what's the point of the two bucket method? For those of you that are unfamiliar with the two bucket method, that's a method where you take the wash mitt, you wipe down a part of the panel, and as soon as you believe there's some dirt on that wash mitt, you go into the rinse bucket, grind it on the grit guard, wring it out, do everything you can to get all the dirt out of it before you dip it into your wash bucket with your soap. Uh, so when you go back on the panel, you have a nice clean mitt to do it. Now, a lot of people try to say, this, ah, that's an extra step, it's a waste of time. I'll tell you what, look at this. Man, look at that. The dirty bucket, that is my rinse bucket. That is how much dirt is just suspended in the water after one wash. And take a look at my wash bucket. That's crystal clear. Now both of these buckets have been sitting for about, I don't know, 45 minutes after the wash. So they've settled down and you can really see, wow, what a difference. If you only have one bucket and you're dipping in one, you're grabbing that nasty, dirty water and scraping it all down the paint. And we know that that is bad news. Now there are other methods out there. I've displayed those too. You can do a rinseless wash, which I like. It's, it's not really my go-to for really dirty cars. You can also do the one bucket method, but that requires taking a whole bunch of towels and putting it into the wash bucket. So you're constantly pulling out a new towel and you're not wiping dirty towels on your car. That's the important key uh, piece of information there. All right, so let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys using the two bucket wash method or using the one bucket? What's your thoughts? Now, another thing to add, I've had this car for two years and I've basically dedicated it to testing all this stuff for you guys <laughs> on my own personal rig. Now, look at the paint on this. There is no marring, no scratching. It looks as good or better than the day I bought it and I polished it and put the ceramic coating on it. I would have to say that this method is tried and true and it works amazing. And I do have a full wash video coming out with this nasty car um, that I'm gonna be putting out soon. I hope you guys check that out. And you know, the channel just can't go on without you viewers. I appreciate all you guys and I appreciate you subscribing, watching the channel. Leave comments down below. I'll leave links to everything in the description as usual. I appreciate everybody's support. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah!